this new technology is being used in around 76% of the projects that are being built globally today. This technology is the reason that the tallest building in the world took only six years to complete. We are sure your minds race to Burj Khalifa right away. This 163 floor high skyscraper was not designed using some modern sorcery, but it's just a simple tool and a simple process that you might be using right now. Watch our video till the end if you want to know what the AEC industry has been raving about. I am Rajesh and welcome back to Novator where we empower AEC professionals like you with the latest AEC scoop right from the industry and the experts. And if this is something that hits a chord with you then take a minute to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now friends, take a moment and look around. The space that you're sitting in, the buildings around you, the streetscape, the infrastructure. Do you know what actually goes behind these scenes? Days of planning, designing, modeling and creating goes into what we are looking at right now. Picking up the pieces, creating, optimizing, visualizing and traveling from utopia to realism. Think about the time when a render comes to life down to every minuscule detail. You create, you analyze, you optimize and then you build. You make this happen in BIM, Building Information Modeling or BIM. What is BIM? Imagine if St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, which was built in 1506, was designed using BIM. Maybe it could have been built in less than a century. In an era where we are constructing buildings like the Nanjing International Youth Cultural Center by Zaha Hadid Architects in just 18 months, why should we not aim for a landscape where sustainable infrastructure grows with people? BIM makes that happen. And with BIM, who knows, maybe the leaning tower of Pisa would not be leaning. But here's the thing, I have heard so many people telling me that BIM is all about Revit. But let me tell you that BIM is much more than that. While BIM is a holistic approach to optimizing a construction project's life cycle, Revit is just one of the many tools that comes under the roof of BIM. Think of BIM as the Avengers and Revit as Thor. Thor is one of them and one of the strongest. Now let's break down both BIM and Revit and understand how Revit fits in the entire universe of BIM. According to a study by McKinsey, 75% of companies that turn to BIM have reported positive returns. BIM or Building Information Modeling is a process driven by collaboration, optimization, information and visualization. Collaboration amongst project stakeholders implies that everyone involved in the project can collaborate on a single 3D model and skip the hassle of sending files over and over again. Optimizing plans by detecting clashes, streamlining processes and enabling cloud access which allows teams to review models on-site ensuring real-time information. BIM also saves us hours of manual work by just quantifying and applying cost reducing the risk of outdated information, eliminating scheduled setbacks and optimizing the project lifecycle as a whole. BIM data is used to generate drawings that further helps with prefabrication and modular construction technology too. The information on building information modeling is the hero here and is the prime reason why we can diminish waste, increase efficiency and reduce labor and material cost too. Visualization of the pre-constructed 3D model allows a rendered experience for your clients and the necessary changes can be done before it's too late. Not only this, but also visualizing hazards before they become potential on-site risks. So in summary, BIM does it all, period from clashes that can slip under and the money you would have spent than saved to time you spend in sending endless files to stakeholders. BIM does it all for you. Remember how I told you how BIM is the Avengers and Revit is just one of them. The other Avengers or tools, softwares include BIM 360, Navisworks, Tecla and wait, what else? Can you tell us in the comment section below? What are other softwares that comes under BIM or a software that you would like to learn more about? So as a matter of fact, Autodesk Revit has a market share of 39.91% in the BIM software market, going neck to neck with 30 other tools in the BIM category. Now that we have talked so much about BIM, let's 
shed some light on Revit as well, taking over more than 4 million AEC professionals over the globe. Revit is one of the most popular softwares used. That's a huge number, right? Not only Burj Khalifa, but the software has been used in some of your favorites like Apple Park in the California, Shanghai Tower in China, One World Trade Center in New York, and many more. So basically, Revit is a BIM software that enables designers to work efficiently without clashes, design in 3D, enable team collaboration, and so much more. Revit is that hero's best friend in the movie that we all root for the underdog, the friend you lost touch with. What is that one thing that is important to us architects and engineers, apart from our long lost sleep? It's time. I mean, who wants to manually detect clashes, offset wall dimensions and add doors and windows where there is a software that can make it happen for us. But here's the thing, there is much more to Revit than meets the eye and today we are going to deep dive into the whys. Revit has been in the design sprint for a long time. But why Revit? What does Revit have to offer here? Let's decode this step by step. Let's begin with the one that attracts the most, parametricism. And how is it used in Revit? Now, what software do you think designed what you are seeing on the screen right now? Take a moment and think. It's Revit. The thing is that the moment we hear parametric modeling, our memory sprints to complex structures like the ones Zaha Hadid designed. While parametric modeling is that it is also like an umbrella that is inclusive of creating 3D models from a set of rules. Unlike AutoCAD which flies solo, Revit comes with a family. Don't you all love not offsetting for once and just laying walls like it's a cakewalk? Nice. Parametric does that. And you can also modify families by defining parameters like height, width, and thickness. So all this time, it was actually parametricism that's making designing in Revit easier. The next benefit of using Revit is automated database. In Revit, automation is a huge plus. Unless you like the classics like chasing changes, reworking, and reading all your project files. Automation basically means that any changes that you make in the model will be implemented in the entire model. This obviously means that by enabling automation, you will be making designing processes more efficient and won't be running around to make 100 changes and then 200 prints. Third, coordination. We all like being well informed, don't we? In a world where we need technology to wake us up from a deep sleep, Imagine not receiving notifications at all on your phone. Would you ever know what is happening around you? You can miss out on so much. It's the same with our projects. Nobody wants to wake up to an altered design altogether. We know your designs are your babies and you'd want to know what's happening with them. And this is where Revit comes to your rescue. Tools in Revit allow users to monitor changes like a linked model, review the notifications of the changes made, copy elements from a linked model into the base model, and further relay clashes to other teams working on the same project. Now, the fourth is collaboration. You know, I think we all have a love-hate relationship with AutoCAD. Imagine sending a DWG file to every other stakeholder, them making changes, me making changes, adding the changes in all the files, changes in the design. Oof, I can go on for a while. It's time to look for a real change. Revit is your answer. Revit allows you to stay in sync with your stakeholders and collaborators with its Sync with Central tool. This tool allows users to make their model their central model while pulling in changes made by the others into their local copy. This feature is the white flag in the process of a construction project that makes collaboration and functionality of a project team more efficient. Other benefits include scheduling, which is like knowing the version history of an element, documentation, energy analysis, etc. In summary, Revit is a big, bright, 
shining star in the vast galaxy of BIM. And that's it for today, guys. I hope this video itched your minds about the thought of BIM and helped you understand the role that Revit plays in the entire BIM universe. Wow, this one really blew my mind because the number of projects that are being built using BIM is increasing exponentially. Feel free to drop suggestions in the comment section below about what would you like to hear next from us. Do hit the like button, share this video now with your AEC folks and subscribe if you haven't yet. I urge you to check this video out to know about the 5 mega projects done in India using BIM. See you in the next one tribe. Until then, let's dare to disrupt.